As I'm always looking for various and fast portable devices to carry with me, today I want to share with you a super well-built fast USB 3.2 Gen 2 DIY enclosure that offers speed, portability, and ruggedness. If you want to know more about this USB 3.2 device, then stick around for the rest of this video. And of course, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and click the notifications icon so you'll be notified of new content as well as help support the channel. If you've ever searched on Amazon for any of these enclosures, you know that there's dozens of variations to let you reuse your existing M.2 NVMe drives. Many of these look the same and a lot of them are poorly built and flimsy with questionable speeds. Today we're going to assemble one of the most well-built units I've seen to date and then run it through its paces to see if the performance lives up to my expectations and to see if it's as fast as it is well-built. So with that, let's get started and take a look at the hardware. From the second you take this out of the box, you feel like you're getting a really good quality product with a lot of attention to detail, such as a key ring that actually physically locks onto the device and has a Velcro strap which allows you to tie up the cable right on the device so you don't lose it, as well as the inclusion of a USB A to C adapter. There's also a switch that allows you to write protect the device so you can't accidentally overwrite the data. This device is really rugged and arguably an overkill, but one thing's for sure, it will protect your SSD not only from heat, but just about anything else. The installation of the SSD is also pretty straightforward. You have to remove the four screws, two on each end, and slide out the internal tray so that you can mount the SSD much the same way that you would mount it on any other device such as a motherboard or various other adapters. Once you mount the SSD, you put the thermal pad on the SSD and then lay the metal heat plate on top and simply slide the entire thing into the aluminum enclosure and then reinstall the two end plates with the four screws and you're good to go. For testing I used an old 250 gig 960 Evo to install on this device and we'll be comparing it to the Samsung 1TB T7. As larger drives are typically faster, the theory would be that the T7 should be faster than this combination. To validate, I use two different test utilities that measure performance in different ways. The first is what we're seeing now, which is the ATTO, which is designed to measure performance by using different transfer sizes and test lengths to replicate what you might see in real life. As you can see, the 250 gig Evo in the iNeo enclosure is faster than the 1TB Samsung T7, which is pretty impressive given the performance of the T7. Next, I'm going to be using Crystal Disk Mark, which is an open source tool designed to test SSD drive performance. It generates read and write speeds in sequential and random positions with varying number of cues and threads. Based on the difference in test approaches, Crystal Disk Mark tends to show lower numbers. However, if you look at the results, the iNeo device fitted with the Samsung 250 gig Evo is clearly performing better. As with all these tests are done on the same system with the same USB controller, the results are telling us a story. And that story is this iNeo device is actually performing very well and arguably better than the Samsung T7, which is which has a reputation of being one of the better performing drives on the market, especially for USB 3.2 devices. In summary, I'm really impressed with this enclosure. It's more rugged, it's faster, and it allows me to use any M.2 NVMe drive that I want, making it really flexible and easy to upgrade. It's certainly not the cheapest of these type of devices, but it is by far the best I've seen to date in terms of build quality and speed. I've tested over a dozen of these types of DIY enclosures, and this is the best I've ever used. I'll certainly be using this as my daily driver, and I plan on putting in a Samsung 1TB drive to use as a portable editing drive. I'll post a link to this device in the description below in case you want to check it out. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and click the notifications icon as it truly does help support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.